All right, here we go. What do we see? Alakazam, Sandslash, Starmie, Venusaur, Magmar, Aerodactyl. Okay, really cool team. Does he have any Rocks users? Yes, he has Aerodactyl and Sandslash. He also has a Magmar, which is amazing. So Aerodactyl and Sandslash, that pretty much makes it so we can't lead Jolteon in this situation. Love your doubles battles. We're going to play them again soon. What's the best alone to true moveset in nature? You got to check it out on YouTube, my guy. Got to check it out on YouTube. Best nature's Jolly. Uh, but I would say my moveset is Rock Slide, Earthquake, Sucker Punch, Stealth Rocks. It's a very fast exclamation of it. But let's talk about this. Uh, I really don't want him to get rocks up. I think. But I, I got to lead Aerodactyl. Is that another donation? Yo, 144. We take those donations all the way to the bank. I appreciate it so, so much, Brayden. Thank you so much. I like their team. I love their team. I think I'm actually going to lead Aerodactyl. I don't really want to put rocks up. But like, look at their team. They have, like, Magmar, their Aerodactyl, their Sandslash, Starmie. I don't really want to fight Starmie, but, like, I'll just hard switch into, like, something. Oof. What if we actually did this? Let me actually just look at this. What if I let him get rocks up and lead Primeape? I actually want to see what happens if I were to lead Primeape here. I want to see it. Let's actually try and leave Oh, shoot. I only have four seconds. Four, three, two, one. Got it. Wait, I didn't get it. No, I didn't get Persian. Oh, I did. Woo. Oh, oh, we did it. Chat, we barely had enough time. We take it. Oh, man, that was down to the wire. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, it doesn't drag on too long. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get back to work and have a good night. Yep, that's the plan. We're having our, we're having our best night. Going up against yellow. Almost rip Persian. I know, right? So there's the Aerodactyl. He's going to get rocks up on us, but I think it's okay. I'm running rocks, toss, toxic, and soft blow on Chansey. Is this good? Yeah, I think it's fine. Whew, definitely close. So we're going to go with the Ice Punch Arenos. Hopefully we get a young... Um, oh, dude, he better not wing attack me. He's going for the EQ. He's not roxing. I'll take that. Go for the oof. That Zelda voice is hello there. Yo, I deserve this freeze to punish you. He's gonna rocks me here, but I think this is good for me. Oh, he's just going for that. He's going for the KO, but then like, I'll be able to send out my Jolteon, I guess. I didn't think I'd actually KO. I'm really surprised. I think he's actually, I actually think that means he's running Adamant, which means I can just run something and come in and pick up the Revenge KO. Is it worth it to bring out Aerodactyl? I'm gonna bring in Jolteon. If he wants to switch into Sandslash, he can. I really don't want him to get rocks up. I'm really gonna try to deny the rocks. Just so you know, if you not select any Pokemon, the game is select all six. No way. Really? That's probably what happened. I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. If he switches in, he's not. All right, cool. <laughs> I was like, I was like, is he gonna switch in the Sand Slash? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's gonna send it out now, and that's fine. You say an Iron Tail. Do you know that Primate can learn Iron Tail? Did you guys know that? Did you know that Primate can learn Iron Tail? I looked at that the other day. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool tech. Where's its tail? Where's its Iron Tail? T tail made exclusively of iron. Do you use a switch land adapter or do you use Wi-Fi? I use land adapter. Um, it's right, like right here. But there's a Venusaur on deck. Primate doesn't have a tail. It learns Iron Tail. What can we switch to? Primate's usually what I like to switch to in this situation. I think I switched to Persian. I know the donation much, but that's the one to show some support. Hey, every single donation, every single possible little dot of a donation is so much more than I could ever expect to get. No, Primeape warns Iron Tail. It's not like Primeape gets it because Mankey gets it. Primeape just gets it. I'm actually going to pop a light screen here. Really don't want to think about what Primeape is using for a tail. I know, right? There's a light screen. I'm expecting like a Leech Seed or a, su a Sleep Powder, but we'll see. Sleep Powder? Yeah, it's fine. Alright. So, I think he's probably going to go for a Leech Seed here. Jolteon's going to have to take the L. I wish I had that quick feet. wish I had that whatever ability lets me wake up faster than I want to. But uh, we're switching to Starmie here. Iron Tush. <laughs> okay, Iron Tush. You better not sleep out again. I'm be so mad. Sludge Bomb, yeah. That's what I figured. We got a Light Screen up too. Light Screen, that ain't doing anything. Early Bird. That's what I was thinking about. Early Bird Jolteon. Here we go. Psychic Boys, super effective. About to be coming in big. Big, big, big. Wait, Starmie, just KO this thing. Yeah, we're not going to get the KO. But, and he's going to go for a Mega Drain. That's a lot. Good thing we got light screen. Good thing we got light screen, boys. He's gonna restore so much health. Let's actually see what else he has in the back. Um, he has Alakazam. Oof. Aerodactyl got KO'd. All right, we're okay. I can just go for Psychic again. If he wants to switch in Alakazam here, he's probably gonna switch in Alakazam, but that's fine. I think we'll switch in Jolteon. 
Go for a little bit of fodder. Oh, he's going with the star me. Okay. Can we, if we get a special D-Drop, that's going to change how I want to play this. What's up, that's it here from YouTube comments. Oh, dude, I know who you are. Trainer Giovanni got the Giovanni uh, icon, right? I know who you are. He's going to go for a Skaldorino, most likely. Do I need Starmie anymore? I actually just don't. He's going to be able to outspeed me based on how my Starmie is. I'm like 99% sure. Just going to go for Thunderbolt. Oh my gosh. Did I outspeed him? Wow. I'll I'll take it. My Starmie, for those who don't know, is modest. And it's actually only 30 IVs. Because I got it in a trade from a Discord member. So I was just like, what? Why am I fat? That means that his Starmie is just not perfect IVs. Or something weird. Light screen wears off. Um, let's see. He could Shadow Ball me. I don't think Alexam can actually touch Persian. So we're going to bring Persian in here. I'm really surprised that Starmie just took the L. I bet he was surprised too. <laughs> Maybe he's using like a quiet Starmie. A sassy Starmie. You never know. I'll take it though. I was willing to fodder my Starmie there. But uh, I ain't, I ain't going to lose if I don't have to Shadow Ball. That's what I expected here. What's his age for Parasite? Currently hunting a Shiny. Um, Sassy. Look at that. Look at that damage reduction, boys. And again, what does he have? He has Sand Slashers to Pain, Venusaur Pain, Magmar. I actually think that since we can't one-shot Alakazam, uh, we go for the Nasty Pot Dark Pulse that might be able to one-shot it. I think he's going to switch anyways. And if he switches into Venusaur, we just taunt. And then we go for another one. Ooh, Magmar. I wonder how much damage Dark Pulse does. I actually want to I want to see someone bust out the Magmar. So let's see if Persian can actually do stuff. Persian, not known for being like that big powerhouse, but it's really, really fast. It, it's like a Swiss Army knife. You know, it has like really unique taunts and it has really unique moves here in like dark pulse thunderbolt uses its defensive dark typing very well against psychic types and it has a situation here in which like it can deal a lot like that is over half goes for a low kick i always end up getting hit by like random brick breaks and low kicks on my persian but uh you know we're in a really good spot here really good spot remember in the other games persian had fur coats which make it so that low kick would have done anything but we already be able to take out the Magmar. I will actually just take that. So Magmar taking the L. And we haven't really shown taunt yet. So if like he sends out the Venusaur, I'm just going to taunt it. Be like, bro, where are you looking? So hopefully that works. Unless it's actually... He might actually... Venusaur's within range for a Dark Pulse, I think. Sand Slash. I'm actually just going to hit the Sand Slash with the Dark Pulse. Because we have a percent, we have a 20% chance to flinch. And if he wants to set up rocks this late in the game, we're just really, really ahead. I like Special One Persian. I really like it too. Show me a flinch. That's what I'm talking about. Persian coming in big. Dark Pulse. Don't sleep on it. DP on Wake Up. Dark Pulse coming in big. That's why we use it, boys. He let me get one nasty pot off. And I took it all the way to the races. I took it all the way. Put those RNGs up. Yep. Put him up. Raise the RNGs. And he has he has the Venusaur and the Alakazam left, right? And I'm pretty sure I outspeed Alakazam. And even if I don't, what's he gonna do? I think I think you want to use X Scissor, maybe. Maybe, definitely, maybe. Dark Pulse! I think we actually can go first. Yeah, we are a timid Persian, which means if he's modest Alakazam, which it looks like he is, we go first! We are so fast! So fast and so furious with our Persian. See, like this is the type of reason, like people. Or, I've actually gotten a lot of comments on my video for the team building movie that's like, why don't you use a little muck? Why don't you use a little muck over Persian? And I'm like, Persian's really fast. And Persian is just strong enough. And if you get one nasty pot, it's about as strong as like a Mega Mewtwo, but it has like a completely different, um, like defensive, like, core to it. Like, it's just, it's so different. Persian, there's no Pokemon like Persian in the game. I love it so much. So Dark Pulse might be able to KO here. I wouldn't be surprised. We are at plus two. Survey says... We take those. Persian going with the sweep. Yo. Dude, this one's for Giovanni, right? I use it with U-turn, chip, special defense spawns. I like this set. This set definitely works for me. This one works for you. You know, let me know. Hopefully you like it as well. All right, here we go. Survey says, what do you see? Aerodactyl, Beedrill, Chansey. Ooh, I really like this because there's no Mega Mewtwo. I need an adult. I am an adult. Here we go. Um, Yeah, he only has one Rocks user and it's the Beedrill. I think I'm going to go Jolteon. And force him to Mega Aerodactyl. All right, Sir Pasta Man coming in, guaranteeing that first place on the bit leaderboard. We take those. Let's see. I think I am going to lead Jolteon. It's really good against everything but Venusaur. But if he goes in Venusaur, remember, one of the ways we set up our team is Venusaur yeah, doesn't right. really have anything to do. Right. Thank you for the follow. New World Scott. Remember, Venusaur can't really do that much against Beedrill since we saw in the last game. I'll let you take the spot. No bit war today. Hey, you know what? Tim, you're the, you're the real MVP in my heart. You know, you may have lost the 
the battle, but you, you'll you still win the war. It's okay. So we're starting off with Jolteon. Make an Arbok Weezing Team Rocket Team. Can I use Persian? I could do that. I could totally do that. That's a good idea. Mr. Bite. Mr. Bin Soon. That's a really good idea. Here we go. Going into the game. I wonder if we're going to see the Aerodactyl or the Venusaur Weed. If it's going to pop the Venusaur Weed, I might go for a screen. Oh, it's Gengar. Do I care about Gengar? I think this, this is, isn't as mega. It could be as mega, but I really doubt it, you know? Um, I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt because we should just be fast racing. And if he goes mega with this, he's not going to be mega Beedrill, which means he's effectively, like, really, really weakening himself. But he could totally mega Gengar me if he thinks my team's really susceptible to it, but I think uh, it's not. So Thunderbolt, we should be able to two-shot this thing. He shouldn't be able to one-shot us with a Sludge Bomb, most like a Crit Poisons. Whoa, we get the Para. I'll take it. I'll take those. No, no, don't crit poison me. Don't. I already used my RNG. Keep that away. Keep that negativity away from me. All right, cool. Cool beans. kind of want to pop a white screen right here because I think he's going to switch. 100 pasta, man. 100 more. Doubling it. I kind of want a white screen because I really think he's going to switch to Venusaur. We're going to white screen because I don't want to just Thunderbolt to Venusaur. I think it's such a waste of time. But we will white screen and then hard switch, I think. Yep, he's a draw. So it's a free screen here. Like, I... Would Thunderbolt be good against this Pokemon? No, it wouldn't. It'd be such a waste of time. It'd do like 10% tops. I guess go for Para, but I'd rather just take the light screen. Like, that that's big. That's really, really big. He's probably going to Leech Seed or Sleep Powder here. But like... I have Beedrill? Is he going to Leech Seed here? I think I'm going to Hard Switch an Aerodactyl, believe it or not. Because I have the screen. The Butterfree named Charity? Oh, yeah. Yep. For charity, yep. Yo, is that is that a donation? I'll take it. One dollar. I will take it. Tim Flay is coming in hot. Taking in the new donation spot. One dollar. We take those all the way to the bank. Appreciate it. Aerodactyl switching it in. There's the sleep powder. Again, we have a screen up. So, another one. Another one. Garlic sauce donating a dollar. Oh, no. The garlic sauce. Yeah, there it is. New donation. We got two one dollar donations. Oh, yo, I take those. Appreciate it, guys. I'm going to try and wake up. We can't wake up this turn. But, uh, yep, $1 is better than that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Garlic sauce coming out on top. There's the Aerodactyl switching. So my Aerodactyl has to be asleep this turn. Absolutely has to be asleep. Um, is it worth it trying to stay in and rocks? I actually think I'm going to try and rock slide him. Try and wake up rock slide, because I think he's going to go for stealth rocks. Yeah. So a bit greedy. I'll take the Dalla Holla. That's right. Yo. Mr. Bin Soon, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. So he got his rocks up. Really unfortunate. Nothing I can really do about that. Venusaur hit sleep powder. Again, I couldn't really stop it. I'd like to wake up soon. Please wake up. Aerodactyl. Survey says Aerodactyl's going for the three-turn sleep. Taking a nice little, nice little nap here. Oh, he misses a rock slide. My light screen is worn off. He has a Mewtwo, right? Like, he has a Mewtwo? No, he doesn't. I need to keep my Beedrill, though. Like, I could Mega Evolve right now. And KO that. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm gonna try and win the game right now. I'm gonna try and win the game right now. I'm gonna go for a. Uh, I'm gonna go for a little bit of a risky business here. If I hit this rock slide, we KO his Aerodactyl, right? Because Mega Aerodactyl rock slide KOs. Yeah, because I had to wake up the strand at three turns sleep. Rock slide makes the connections, hits his Aerodactyl, picks up the KO. Because like, look at what he has in the back. He has like a Gengar, yeah, right. a Chansey. Right. Thank you for the follow. Got dumplings, yo. I, I wish. I wish I had Dumplings, but thank you for the follow. I guess I got I got a follow from Dumplings. But if we look at his whole team, he's kind of in a situation to where look at that hell with like super delayed mega. <laughs> you know what I mean? Again, like he has like Beedrill. He has um just a bunch of stuff that gets grinded by Aerodactyl. I think. I think it's worth a shot. He's like Venusaur. Yo, thank you! Another one, diamond more than five, another dollar donation. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Thank you so, so, so much, guys. I appreciate it. All right, there's the Venusaur. I'm going to taunt this. I'm going to taunt you. You can't stop me. Don't stop me now because I'm having a good taunt. I don't want to stop at all. And I'm pretty much just going to use my Beedrill as probably like a free switch in like a bad matchup. So we're going to taunt here. We see no Sleep Powder. Not today. Not today. That's going to send the donation link. Let me see. Maybe? Maybe. Let me see. How do I do that? Donation war. Yeah, the first one dollar. Is there a, is there a donation command? Does that work? Mega drain. Unfort. Does a lot actually. Let me see. 
There we go. That works, right? Is that the donation link? Hopefully. Oh, man. I'm not doing as much as I want here. He's going to Mega Drain me again. I think I'm going to come in with... Uh... Let me make sure you think about this. Because I want to actually save my Aerodactyl, but I have rocks up. I actually think I'm just going to keep rock sliding. I think it's fine. I think eventually I'll get a really good situation. So here we go. Rock slide! Can we get a flinch? One flinch would, like, totally put this in my favor, I think. One flinch! Damn it. Dang it. Put my bank account into the war. Oh, my gosh. Oh, click the yellow PayPal. I think he's on mobile. I think he's on mobile. Shrieking off the taunt. I'm gonna go for a rock slide. I think he's gonna go for a sleep powder. Here we go. Come on, Aerodactyl! Give me that flinch! Show me the money! Oh, is that a crit? Is that a crit? Mega Drain. Oh, he kept, the, he kept me honest. Oh, I'm a four! Okay. I can still win. I can still win, chat. I think I, I think I got I think I get an earthquake here. I don't want to miss a rock slide. I'm gonna EQ. It's neutral. I'm pretty strong. I don't think I need to rock slide here. I think he might even switch. It's possible he switches out. Nope. Can we KO? This could be greedy of me not wanting to miss. No, nope, got it. Barely. We take those all the way to the bank. Venusaur goes down. That's huge. Now we can use Jolteon. It's a lot easier. Wish I got dumplings too. I know, right? <laughs> okay. We're really low now, but... I think we're in a pretty decent spot. There's the Snorlax. Now, we have rocks. He has rocks up on us. Let's actually look at his team again. He has Chansey, Beedrill, Gengar, Snorlax. We've taken out Aerodactyl and Venusaur. So we have Beedrill, Chansey, Snorlax, Gengar. What do we have in the back? Primate. All right, I think I'm just gonna go for a rock slide and let him take me. I don't think I need the rocks. I think I'm just gonna go for a rock slide. Arena, me amigo. Rock slide coming in. Show me a flinch. Show me a crit flinch. Oh, I'm getting greedy right now. Body slam. All right, it's fine. So again, I think I'm just gonna primate. It's gonna force him to switch the Gengar in, I think. And primate just kind of should roll this. I think it should two shot with EQ. Right. Let me think about this. It's either Primate or Persian, and I don't want to get... I think I'm going to save Persian for a situation where we send it out against the Gengar. And we're going to try and, like, set up a little bit. But we'll see. Persian could be used in a very niche situation as well. So Point of Stone's digging into Primate. Never lucky. I think we two-shot with Earthquake here. And I think, like I said, I think he's switching into Gengar. Because he's expecting, like, a Brick Break. Or he's switching into Beedrill. And Earthquake does a lot of damage against Beedrill, too. Do we not have an Imok Command for donations? I don't think we do. Yo, Quasar Combat 250! Going in big. Oh, he just scoops. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Primate was about to sweep that guy up. Another donation. I'll take that all the way to the bank.